Hello, my name is Karen Slowinski. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Akron, Ohio. So I don't know if you've seen the new catalog yet, but it is fabulous. There are so many fun things in there, but I'm gonna show you something. It's on page 63 of this new catalog. Uh, let me just turn to this page. And it's called the Countryside Corners. It's a bundle. There's actually this beautiful paper, but I'm gonna focus on the bundle. And when you look at this, it's a little bit different than maybe what you're used to, is that there's only one stamp set and there are seven dies that coordinate with it. And it's one that you may look at it and question, how do I use this? So my goal is to show you some really different ways of how you can use this bundle to make great cards. So I've got a whole bunch of cards that I'm gonna show you. And not only am I featuring this, but I'm featuring quite a few of the other stamp sets and some of the new colors from the catalog. I think you're really gonna like it. Um, one last thing, you may have noticed uh, the yellow, see it on the wall there next to me. Um, a lot of things have changed since my last video. I got new flooring, it's laminate flooring, so it's much easier to clean up. I've painted my stamp room this bright, happy color, and I have a new patio outside of my window. So lots has changed in the last um, couple of weeks. Anyway, let's turn the camera around and we're gonna begin. Let's begin by looking at the stamp set. So you see here that this is an elongated octagon shape and it has stitching. So there's dots and dashes, um, little flowers. And this is what the stamp set looks like. So it's a large stamp. This is sort of like the size of our background stamps. So what I have used when I did my stamping is this block. This is a block size F. So it is pretty big and you can see that it's about well, let's measure it. It looks like it's about five and a half or so inches across. And this can sometimes be unwieldy, a little bit hard to do, um, to hold it anyway. Um, if you had a Stamparatus, that would be another great option for you, and it's much easier to manipulate. But I wanted to show you a tip so that if you don't have a big block like this, you can go ahead and you can actually put this right in your stamp set, okay? So it'll stick to that plastic case. And then we can just ink this up. So I'm just gonna take some black and I'm gonna ink just upside down. Get really nice coverage on this. And I'm gonna close that up. And then we are gonna take uh, just a piece of paper. So I have a quarter size sheet and I'm just gonna set that right on top. And then I've got another block and I'm just gonna use that to kind of press over it, get nice coverage, and then lift it straight up. And there you've got your image. So that is another great way to use the stamp set when you don't have or can't handle that great big block. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you another tip. Get these out of, out of the way. So I took that stamp and I put it on just a piece of copier white paper, very lightweight. And then these are my magnetic um, sheets that I use to store my dies on. And I'm gonna put this right on top. So when you do this, then you can take all of your dies and you can lay them right on top of it. And you can get them all lined up and it'll hold them in place. Here, I'm trying to get it through the camera so I can see it. All right, so there we go. And then once you get them all lined up, then you can take some low tack tape. So this is my low tack tape. I took a piece of it about six inches across. I put it on my pants so that I got some more of the stickiness on it. And then I ran it across the middle. And then when you do that, you can pick up all the dies at once. So then when you're cutting this stamp out, these are already in place and it's quick and easy to cut them all at once. They just stay all together. Uh, you can take them off if you want and then say I wanted to use just this one, I could take it off and then put it back in place and have the tape hold it. So this is a really big time saver. So I'm gonna set those aside. So now I'm gonna show you some fabulous cards. So for this first card, I took six bright, happy colors. So I have Poppy Parade, Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, a new color, Azure Afternoon, another new color, Berry Burst, another new color, and um, Gorgeous Grape. 
and then I stamped in black on all of those papers and using the stamp, or excuse me, using the dies are all together, I cut them all out. So I have all these shapes and all the colors, so it's a lot of fun. So I assembled them back together and you can see that they are just glued right to my card base. So this is not adding any bulk by having all the different colors there. And then I thought I would use the Delightful Daisies dies and they just, in white, they just add that really beautiful contrast to all of this rainbow of color. And then I stamped the thanks in the tiniest of the little dies that comes in this bundle. And this is the thank you card that I made. I added another daisy to the inside and to the envelope. So there is my first card. Now, I have lots and lots of those shapes cut out. So my second card features just one of them in the Poppy Parade. So I used um, the Sending Sunshine bundle to cut out the words and the greeting. And of course the flower, I stamped the leaves in garden green. I popped them up along with popping up this frame. And it's just a beautiful, simple card, but adding this, this frame around it sets off this gorgeously. And then on the inside, I said, yay, it's your day. And this would make um, a wonderful birthday card. And there is my envelope with one of the other flowers from that set. All right, then I started playing and I had so much fun with this one. Like I said, I had many of these um, sitting there on my desk and I was just playing with them and I started putting them all together. And this reminds me of the subway maps when I used to visit my daughter when she lived in um, DC because they had the red line and the green line and the blue line, and anyway, so on. So the hardest part about this one was deciding what was gonna go over and what was gonna go under. So I did my basic layout. I started by tacking down just a little bit of this um, gorgeous grape one. And then I used some post-it notes to kind of hold things in place while I snipped. And then after I did some trimming, I had some little extra pieces. So I had a piece here from the red and a piece here with the blue. So I just added those to kind of fill out the corner a little bit. And then I did happy birthday. Um, on the smallest piece that was done in the berry burst. So I loved how this came out. And then I used another one of them for the inside um, to just set off my greeting. And then I did that on the corner. I was trying to find something that would kind of coordinate. So I wanted to pull in these different colors. So this is from one of our new um, sets, which is called Circle Sayings. So then, I didn't show you the Delightful Daisies, but here is Delightful Daisies. This is a fabulous set. Speaking of Delightful Daisies, I have used that on this card. So here I am using one of the shapes. I think this is the second largest. I'm not sure, it could be the third largest. And I just used that in a more traditional sense. So it gave the backdrop for these daisies. I did these daisies in our Fluid 100 watercolor paper and then I embossed them with white. And then I was able to use my water painters and add some of our ink pad colors to them. Um, this one I added a little of the pebble path to give it a little bit more of a muted color. That came out kind of cool. And then I used one of our sayings from the new Thoughtful, oh, what's that one called? Wonderful Thoughts, excuse me, um, to add our quick sentiment on here. And then I spritzed it and gave it a little bit of texture by doing the granny apple green. And then I added the daisy on the inside and some on the envelope. I thought that was very pretty, but very traditional. Here's another one, which is sort of traditional, but a little bit stepped up. Uh, this time I stamped with berry burst on berry burst paper. So it's a little bit toned down than having the black. And then I did my flowers and I used my Stampin' Blends to color them. I used some of the new Bubble Bath and I used some of the uh, Berry Burst colors. And then for this one, as you can see, this here is one of the shapes and I embossed that with the Time Worn Type. So it gives it this beautiful texture and I popped that up and then I popped up my flowers on top of it. And this is beautiful designer series paper. It's called Bright and Beautiful, and it has all kinds of um, really pretty, a lot of softer colors in there. So then I took an extra piece of that and put it on my inside of my card. And there is 
my flowers stamped in the bubble bath. So that's one of the new colors. All right, here is another one. And this is a fun um, new stamp set. It's called Crafting With You. It's got all kinds of different um, arts and crafts. And it's fun, and I used to um, do quite a bit of cross stitch, a little bit of embroidery, but I thought this was really fun to um, focus that little piece of embroidery in the hoop. That's Pecan Pie, a great new addition. Um, it really adds to our neutrals line. And then for this one, I took that dye bundle and I cut it all out of the um, basic white. And then I peeled off two of the different rings and I embossed those. And I used one of the new um, basic 3D embossing folders, which I adore. This is my very favorite of it. It adds this great texture. It's subtle, but it really adds quite a bit to your card. And then I cut out a large, this is the second size down. I just cut that out of plain white and then I adhered the embossed ones on top. I used the one here as a placeholder for getting this in place. And then I stamped my senti sentiment in the middle, popped up my little um, embroidery hoop, and there is my inside. And then for my envelope, I did some hearts down the side. And then for my very last card, I went back to my bright and beautiful designer series paper. I took off the largest of these uh, rings, the outer die, and I just cut um, a piece that's four by five and a quarter of the designer series paper. And I chose a pattern that was a little bit busier than some of the other ones. And then I glued this one down and then I adhered these next two alternating rings. Um, this one is popped up, this one's straight down. This one's popped up, this one is down. This one I popped up doubly. So I added two dimensionals under each one. And this Celebrate comes from the Share It Milkshake set. So really, really fun. Added another piece of that paper. And this is our bubble gum paper. Um, to coordinate, I took another strip of it and put it down the side of the envelope. So I hope I have inspired you and I've given you some ideas to use this um, die and stamp set. Don't be intimidated that it's a large one because I've shown you how that you can use it um, if you don't have a stamp apparatus or if you don't have a great big block. And there's all these great card ideas for you um, to make. And here, we're squishing that in. So I have uh, had a lot of fun playing with this. If you need a new catalog, please let me know. I would be happy to get one to you. And if you have any questions, also let me know. Uh, thank you again so much for watching this video. I hope that you will share it and become a subscriber. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.